TheWire.com reports 11 school shootings took place on or near campuses in the month of January. It's a fact school officials can't ignore, saying now is the time to plan for safer schools. All across this land of ours, we have wept with you. The 2012 Sandy Hook massacre shocked the world and left more than 20 dead. Our younger son, Ben, age six, was murdered in his first grade classroom. A new study by two gun safety groups says there have been 44 school shootings since Newtown. Can we honestly say that we're doing enough to keep our children, all of them, safe from harm? 16 shootings were on college campuses. We're challenged every day with the thought that it might happen here. Fresno State Police Chief David Huerta says that's why he wanted to bring school employees and law enforcement together to plan for emergencies. You can't respond if you don't plan. At an exercise Thursday, professors and department heads met with local, state, and federal law enforcement to practice responding. Everyone that's here today uh, would be involved in any kind of disaster anywhere in our region. Huerta says the exercise was prepared specifically for Fresno State and took participants through what would happen if an active shooter entered campus. It's extremely important just to be prepared. Um, as we've seen in the history, um, things happen and we just don't know when or where. Um, and so it's best for us to be prepared and know what our roles are in case something does happen. But an active shooter is something Huerta hopes he never sees. It really doesn't matter why they're there. They're there. They're there to commit mass murder, and it's our obligation uh, to stop it. Chief Huerta says Fresno State PD has already worked with ASI and the Kremen School of Education on active shooter response. Is there anything else that the school is working on to improve our campus safety? Chief Huerta says he's working on implementing social media in a crisis and in his words, whatever method works to get the message out.